So today, I think it'll be, Camilla, will she be queen? Will she be called queen? And I've danced around that before. So let's see how it goes. I hope you like this video. If you do, please do like it. And uh, please do subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching. <music>
tarot. I don't know uh, what country they come from, uh, crazy enough, but um, they're great cards. And I just uh, spread them out like this so you can get an idea, you know, what they look, what different cards look like, and maybe you know, help you figure out if you want to buy something I've been using, or, um, you know, if you're just nosy like I am. I just used to always like to know, uh, wondered what the cards uh, look like that the, the uh, readers were using. So it's a good way to shuffle them up. If you're doing a reading for somebody, it's not a bad way to let them uh, get their hands on the card, get some energy in there. Albano Weight Tarot. So it's very interesting. I mean, you think the king is in charge, but the king is not in charge. And um, so, uh, you know, I feel like he should put it up to a, a public uh, uh, question. You know, what would his subjects prefer Camilla be styled as? I think go with the majority. That's what I like. But then I'm American, so I always try to think, oh, let's do it democratically. Even though, listen, I know our democracy is a mess, but, you know, it's all a work in progress. So let's see, Camilla. So my question is, um, <sighs> will, would the British public be okay with Charles uh, calling Camilla Queen, Queen of England? Is that what she'd be called, Queen of England? So, very interesting. And um, let's see what the cards have to say about that. So, Queen Camilla. And will that happen? Queen Camilla. What do the British people think? And will it actually happen? Um, I think those are two fair questions. Because regardless of what the public thinks, it could happen anyway. So, Queen Camilla. Although, I've got to tell you, I think Charles is scared to death of messing up the monarchy. And I don't think he'll do anything to to damage it but to queen camilla would the british public be in an uproar if she were called queen camilla and will she be called queen camilla in that order so let's let's do it we're gonna take six cards obviously like we always do two three four five and six we'll do the last four i want to get through these six this will be a full uh, Celtic cross for these two questions. The signifier of this question, will or would the British public <clears throat> be in an uproar if Charles called Camilla queen? Oh, this is very interesting. It's up in the air. It, you know, it's not necessarily a decided uh, situation. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that's the signifier. Now, what's the challenge to that? Would the British public be in an uproar? Uh, oh, look, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Action. The challenge of that is calling her, is the action of calling her the Queen. Well, that's simple enough. That's fair. That's plain English. Thank you, cards. You understand my simple brain. The base of this reading, then, is uh, the High Priestess. The High Priestess, you know, this is the second uh, of the major or can of cards. It's a third card, but it's the second of a number. <coughs> so, the high priestess, all-knowing, um, would the British public be in an uproar? The high priestess is all-knowing, and this is the base of this reading, the high priestess. Let's see if this gets a little more defined here. Um, it's very interesting. The past of this reading, for if the British public would be in an uproar, is an ace of cups. So this tells me that the British public are very would be very forthcoming coming with an emotional response. And uh, I have to say, I would think it would be a um, a positive emotional response. The highs, the uh, the in the sky for that. Then uh, it's all up to the king. So look at this. This is very interesting. We have the king of wands and we have the queen of wands. That's very interesting. But the question is not whether he will. It's with it's if the um, British public would uh, would be in an uproar over it. And then the uh, answer, the, the likely outcome for all of that, celebration, smallish celebration. So I think the British public would be okay. Now let's ask, will, 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 I'm going to shuffle these cards, will she actually be called queen? Will Camilla actually be called Queen Camilla. Queen Camilla. Self of that question is right here. Look at that. Celebrations. So uh, it, it looks like it's possible. The environment that that is in or would be in is, look at that, victory. Of course it would be. Charles would be so victorious if that were allowed to happen. That would, that would put the cherry on top of the um, him being king uh, if it came about that way. The uh, hopes and the fears for all of that are strength. Will it affect the strength 
of Charles as a monarch. And then the, the final uh, outcome for all of that, well, of course, it's up in the air. <laughs> it's a choice to be made. You know, it's, it's up in the air. So will she be called queen? It's not decided. It's not known. And I think the universe is telling us it still has yet to be determined. Very interesting. You know, I'm always surprised at how well these cards respond to the questions I ask. It, it's really uh, unnerves me a little bit. But, um, and you know, I haven't been doing this for a very long time, just a few years. But uh, let's, let's go over it again. So the, que the first part of the question was, would the, would the British public be in an uproar? And we kind of get, you know, maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe yes, maybe no. And uh, the uh, challenge to it was, of course, her being called Queen with this Queen of Wands action uh, and, and motion and uh, planning. Uh, the base of the reading then was the high priestess. So there's an all-knowing knowledge there. There's an all-knowing uh, power behind this whole thing. And um, I'm not really sure even now how that plays into the, into the answer. But then the past of it is the uh, Ace of Cups. And for me, this is telling me that the British public is, is, has a big emotional uh, offering that they're willing to give to their king. I think they do. And then the sky of it was uh, King Charles as the King of Wands. So we had Camilla as the Queen of Wands and Charles as the Queen. Did I say that backwards? Charles is the King and Camilla is the Queen? I'm so confused. And then the likely outcome of the first part were uh, four of uh, Wands, which are celebrations, small celebrations. You know, she couldn't be uh, glorified as a Queen. But And then so I said, okay, so will it actually happen? And the first card that comes out is the Three of Cups, which is an emotional celebration. And the challenge to it, there really was no challenge. It was a victory. It was a total victory. And then the hopes and the fears is that he has the strength to show that he is a king and things will be done as he intends them to be done. But then as a final outcome, it still hasn't been decided uh, in, the, uh, in the ether. So I think it's still uh, up in the air. So we'll see what happens. Very interesting read. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. Hey, I'm Mark. Remember to like and subscribe.